my name is Brett Colonel. I've been painting in watercolor and some ink as well. Since I'm paralyzed from the neck down, I use a, a mouth stick with a brush uh, attached to the mouth stick and have to do most of my work with my mouth stick. So can you talk a little bit about your injury? Sure, I was, I was injured about um, almost a little over 20 years ago just in a motocross accident where I, I was out with some friends messing around and uh, I'd hit something was I was going through some weeds, tall weeds, and so I didn't really see the train. And when I hit it, I flew up in the air, kind of over my handlebars and when I landed. As soon as I went down, I just felt like I knocked the wind out of me because I, I was just so concerned with trying to breathe. And what it was is, I had shattered the, the fifth vertebrae and some of the fourth vertebrae in my neck. And that, that injured the spinal cord, you know, permanently. And at that level, you are paralyzed basically from the shoulders down. You lose those muscles in your chest cavity to be able to breathe. I mean, I didn't even realize I was paralyzed. I was just trying to breathe. Once friends came up, they, they could tell that something was wrong because I had broken my arm and I didn't even know it was broke. Then that's when, you know, we had to call 911 and Flight for Life had to come in and, and take me uh, to St. Anthony's. And then from there, I spent three months of uh, rehab at Craig Hospital. Things just didn't quite work out the way you expected it to work out. And it was just like, okay, I'll move on to the next thing, which was basically painting. Now we've come full circle. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna ask when you were talking about kind of the process of painting and how that goes for you. The nuts and bolts of it is, first it's gonna, I need to find a subject matter that I find interesting that I wanna paint. If it's a female subject, then usually the pose or, or I, I tend to like long hair or whatever. That, that, mm -hmm. For some reason, that's something that I always find interesting trying to, to paint. I have a mouse stick that has a, a pencil on it if I'm working traditionally. And, and from there, I'll have to sketch it out. Um, maybe I might do a practice run with the pencil, then, then I'll do the actual pencil layout. And once I go from there, you know, then it's just, if I want to do watercolor or, or or something like gouache or ink, you know, and then I have to figure out well, what brush do I want to use because I can't really switch mm -hmm. brushes. I have to work with one brush and one mouth stick throughout the entire painting, and then from there, especially with watercolor, you just have to slowly build up the value, going from lighter to darker. Mm -hmm. And 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 with watercolor, you really do, since it's a transparent medium, you you learn to preserve your whites. You have to really think ahead of what you want to paint, when you want to paint it, because you can't erase it. You can't, there's no do-overs. And every painting is a little bit different, mm -hmm. you know, but there is a strategic plan as to what you want to paint and how you want to, you know, move forward. And then there's always a little bit of a struggle that the painting is not going the way you want it to go. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times you need to push through that that awkward stage and you know there's a lot of times maybe it does finish up and just not it was a train wreck or there's other times where you know you kind of get over the hump and then everything clicks and it's like okay then then the thing is is you just don't want to screw up the the good stuff that you've done what led to engineering and how do you think it's um, kind of influenced your art engineering it's it's funny engineering just was one of those things that I mean, I've always tinkered with stuff as well. And um, it, it just was a natural, I like to build things. Like I said, I always worked with my hands. And I, I chose mechanical engineering. I, I've always said mechanical engineering was kind of like the Swiss Army knife of engineering. You kind of, you learn a little bit of all the disciplines that are out there. And then from there, I mean, you can take your master's and sort of specialize in, in one, field, that industrial field out there or whatever, but, but um, 
no i it's just always something that i never had to question what what degree i wanted to take and it just was something that i i never had to ask myself you know i just automatically mm -hmm. automatically did it chose it do you want to go back to school for anything else you think would you go back to our school um oh yeah i mean i i constant i'm already uh subscribed with like an online art mentor or, well it's called um new masters academy mm -hmm. and so it, it is a, it's an online resource for demos and and lectures on on different whether it's drawing heads or painting or just even the philosophy of painting so yeah no i if, if i could go to something that was like a an artillier i would always like to be open to taking some more classes. I think I have one final question then. What is your ultimate goal? Like, do you want to do a gallery opening? Do you want it to be museums? Like what would be like the ultimate, I made it moment? Yeah, I guess maybe being recognized by a lot of the people that I really admire right now for them to be able to see my work and, and say, wow, you know, I. That's really amazing how you, you're doing it and doing it at such a high level. Are there a couple in particular you want to mention? See, we'll put on the universe, try to make it happen. <laughs> I mean, there's 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 people, there's other instructors that I've I've kind of touched base with. One one painter, Steve Houston, who is both an artist and a teacher, who has seen some of my work and has, you know, said when he, that that's pretty amazing jeff watts jeffrey watts and and actually even a local painter Huang Ho, who uh sometimes i i get to meet up and paint with on wednesday nights you know you know i'll actually be next to me and say wow that's pretty amazing you know mm -hmm. so i guess in a way there has been some moments like that um yeah uh, I, don't, I don't know. I guess I guess I I don't really focus too much on the long term big picture. I guess uh, just get better and just keep getting better and look at something that was done a year or two ago and be like, wow, I'm way better than than I was back then. Something. When you did a piece with Nine News, they brought back to me and I've had it ever since. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you remember it. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. That was... This was one of the coolest gifts I've ever received really? that day. And then I looked on Instagram and you've gotten better. <laughs> so. Yeah, as I, I've moved in. Well, hopefully I get better as, yes, as the years Yes, it's amazing. Go on. Yeah, I just always want to be able to have people look at my art especially on social media. You know, you can find me on Instagram, Brett Colonel. Thanks again. Thank you for talking to us. Nation. What I am thankful for this year is my family. I have a healthy family. Um, we have no health issues. I know a lot of people are dealing with that this holiday season. My family, my little Sophie, my husband Mark, and then uh, my family out in Santa Cruz. I love you all. Mwah. I'm most thankful for this United Airlines flight that's taking me home to Virginia to see my family. Nama, I'm on the way. Get the pasta salad ready. My family and of course my DBL family. Love these people here. It's a pleasure to work here. My family, who I'll see soon, my friends, and everybody at DBL. You guys have treated me really awesome since I got here, so thank you. Family, friends, and the Jonas Brothers. It's my family, it's my mom, dad, extended family, my friend family here, and of course my DBL family and you at home. My health, oh my gosh, my mom is uh, working on some health issues now. and. If you don't have chronic pain, you don't think about it, but when you do, that's all you think about. So be so thankful that you're walking around without constant, constant pain, because a lot of the people around you are. I'm so thankful for feeling healthy and strong. My handicap parking pass, and my ability to walk again, and hopefully snowboard again, which I'll be trying this weekend. For my family, and my friends, and my girlfriend, and my cat. DVL, it's a fun job. I'm thankful for my family. And for doing this promotion, I'm really excited. Everyone says my family, but they mean the most to me and uh, I 
love them every day. My fiance Tom and our two dogs Hoopty and Sherwood. I'm also very thankful for Kelly because she's one of my best friends. Aww. Family, friends, and snow chains. My friends and my family and this job, this place is awesome. You guys make me uh, make me want to do it more. My wonderful nieces and nephews. Look at those little cuties. For my friends and my family and my favorite cat. I have two, but she's the favorite. Friends, family, my girlfriend, and the Colorado Avalanche. For my family and friends, and uh, to make it this far throughout the year. And DBL, where we're going, what we're doing, everything's great. Everybody here is awesome, so oh, there's so much to be thankful for. All of life is good. Every day is good. I'm thankful for every single day, and I'm especially thankful for my wonderful children. Disney Plus, because now I get to watch That's a Raven whenever I want. People out in the world trying to make it a better place for everyone and not just themselves. For my friends and for my family, I always come into work and I'm greeted by a lot of friends and I always go home and I'm greeted by a lot of family. Having an awesome job in Denver, Colorado. I love it out here. It's beautiful. I have some awesome co-workers. Um, I have an awesome music career. All my friends because they're always there for me and they're always there to like make me laugh and have a good time. Thrilled to be in Denver. Things are going really well. And uh... Happy holidays. So, hey wait, I want to do that again. Uh, I've been thinking about what I'm really grateful for, so I took some notes. Thank you, Donald. I want nothing, I want nothing, I want no quid pro, pro quo. For being able to survive this year, I'm doing school and work full time at the same time. Woot woot to me, hopefully I'm done by next summer. For my mom and my dad and my family and my house. Happy Thanksgiving!